hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new thank you for tuning in so this video is a bit different from my previous videos um, it's basically five quick smoothies you guys can make five very filling smoothies you guys can make that would fill you up till lunchtime if you're a bit like me maybe about one or two snacks in between but that's not the point they're very filling smoothies Oh, by the way, I got my Blend Active. I think it's called Breville. Breville. I got it from Argos and it was about £22. It came with like two big bottles. But I know there are a couple variations of it as well. So yeah, guys, just check it out. So yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So this first smoothie, I feel like is a bit of the controversial one because it's got spinach in it. And everyone thinks like, oh my god, they can taste the spinach or they just make a face at the sight of spinach and smoothies. But I can assure you guys, it tastes really good and you can't even taste the spinach in it. So in all my smoothies, I always put oats in them and that's what makes it very filling. And like, yeah. So I put a couple spoons of oats, I think I put, I put about four or five in it, I think. And then I just add... Um, squash I don't like the way um, milk tastes with spinach so I just tend to use either juice or squash but I didn't have any juice at home so just using squash so I'll give that a quick shake and then I'll just blend it before I then add the fruits or the spinach as well um, with actually making your smoothies you could either, either get um, fresh fruits and then cut them up so I tend to like at the weekend get all the fruits I want to make like the smoothies I'm gonna make that week and like cut them up and then put them in little pots or little bags as to the variety I'm gonna make. So every morning I'll just grab it out and then just make the smoothie. Or you could actually get the frozen fruits um, already pre-cut from the from any grocery store. Um, yeah, just depending on you. So I'm just putting the bananas in now. Um, and for the life of me, I don't know why I decided to pick up a knife to use to cut the bananas when you could just easily just chuck it in. But I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what's going through my head. But yeah, just cut your uh, bananas and put it in whatever way you like. And then I'll then add the spinach. With spinach, you could either use a fresh one or you could use frozen one. As you can see here, I'm using fresh ones, but I'd frozen it the night before because I wanted the smoothie to be really cold. Um, or you can actually get the, um, the spinach blocks. They have like little cubes in a bag. Um, and you could just use that. I think Iceland everywhere does that actually you could just get it from any supermarket and I'm just gonna give that a quick shake add a bit more juice in it or squash I'm so excited with this smoothie because it's like my favorite one not only does it taste good it's so healthy so I'm just gonna give that a quick blend, 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 blend. So yeah, when that's done, you can either leave it in the little bottle you've got, or big bottle rather, um, if you're on the go, or if you're at home and you just want to feel a bit more relaxed, whatever, just pour it in the little jar. So I just poured mine in the jar and it was obviously cold because the, the spinach was frozen, so it was ready to have then. Or if you would prefer, just put it in the fridge or freezer to get it even more chilled. I couldn't find my straw <laughs> I couldn't find my straw and I was so upset but yeah anyway so yeah there you go spinach and banana I feel like it's a classic you have to try it so this next one is with pears and apples and um, with this one if you don't put anything extra in it it tastes quite bland to be honest so the first time I ever made it I just put the pears and apple and it was quite bland so i then decided to try strawberries so i put strawberries in it the reason i chose strawberries was just because um the apples and pears come off as just with like a white color so i thought if i put strawberries in it it would look a bit nice with the pink color so yeah that's the only reason i put strawberries so you can try any any fruit you want to try to be honest so i've just put the oats and the milk and i've blended it so now i'm just putting the pears and the apples I tend to take the skin off the pears just because I don't like it and that's it there you go so this next one is such a tropical one tastes so sweet so it's basically pineapples and mango 
and a bit of squash or juice, whatever takes your fancy. So I've just cut up the mangoes and the pineapples and just putting them in. And by the way guys, do not use milk with this one because apparently something with the enzymes make it taste bitter, so just use juice. So there you go. This next one, um, so I've just put the oats and I'm adding milk in it now. And I'm just gonna give it a quick blend. So I'm putting the kiwi in. Do not do what I did, just chucking it in and just making it slash like that going everywhere. So I learnt my lesson the second one. <laughs> so I just put the kiwi and then bananas. And then I added some frozen um, blueberries. I think it was like blueberries and raspberries. It came in like the frozen bags. So I just chucked that in there. And what I did was not very clever. You see, everything was going everywhere. Not very clever. But yeah, just the bananas, kiwi, and some frozen blueberries or raspberries, or whatever it takes your fancy, frozen fruits. And by the way, you can switch things up, guys, if you want. And there you go. You get that. Such a nice color. This next one, this is the last one, and it's with carrots. The carrots can have a very, very strong taste, so just be careful just not to put a lot in it. So I've just put carrots and I use peaches. What, I think, was it peaches or nectarine? I'm not too sure now. Um, and some bananas. Actually, by the time I was done with this, the carrots was really strong, so I added a bit more nectarine in it, just to make it sweet. But yeah, there you go, guys. I hope you try these recipes. Thank you for watching.